Wow, wow, everyone. Uh, for this final uh, newsletter, I thought I'd take you through some of the highlights that we've experienced here at Tanaron Clans. And I guess the first thing that we can't go past is the recognition and settlement agreement signed with the State Government of Victoria. Um, this is of huge significance for us, and it will mean that Tanarong will take and have a place um, at the high level of natural resource management within Tanarong country, and will also mean that we have direct uh, oversight over a lot of national parks and state parks within Tanarong country. Uh, specifically, uh, some of the things out of the, the agreement will mean that we have official ownership and high level management control over Mount Buffalo National Park, Alpine National Park, Lake Eildon National Park, Mount Samaria State Park, Cathedral Range State Park, King Lake National Park, Wandong Reserve, Greytown Heathcote National Park, and also Mount uh, Wombat Flora and Fauna Reserve as well. And also flowing out of this agreement will mean that Tanarong will have the ability to employ park rangers uh, in the same capacity as Parks Victoria park rangers and, and we will be working in collaboration with Parks Victoria uh, into the years to come um, for the management of those parks as well. So that's something that's really exciting. Um, there will also be some, some other things flowing out of the recognition and settlement agreement. But um, importantly, they're some of the big things um, that we need to mention. And um, look, we're really excited for the future. And in the next year or so, we'll be, we'll be looking to employ some of our park rangers. So keep an eye out for that. Also with the, with the settlement as well, we acquired some Crown land parcels. Um, and for that, we'll take you through that uh, in, in next year. Um, this is something that we've got the option of acquiring, uh, one of them being the officers uh, here, um, this is a parcel of Crown land that we've been offered and accepted. However, um, Tanarong will do some due diligence on these properties as well to make sure that there isn't anything uh, of concern that we need to know about before acquiring. Furthermore, um, there's some, uh, I guess, some other significant things that happened throughout the year was uh, Tanarong's acquisition of Camp Jungai, uh, the facility in Rubicon. Um, something that's been uh, a very significant place for Aboriginal people in general uh, across Victoria and um, something that Tanarong were very, I guess, humbled to be able to have that handed back to traditional owners uh, and the traditional owner group being Tanarong, uh, where, where Camp Jangai sits. So that was something that we were really excited, really humbled by and something that we look forward to managing long into the future. Um, I guess uh, another significant acquisition was the Tanarong's uh, purchase of a property in the King Valley. Uh, we purchased a, a property on the King River, uh, which has uh, some, some real opportunity for us or real potential for us into the future. Uh, we'll be looking to um, set up some kind of agricultural enterprise there uh, in the near future. And also we'll be looking to um, set up some kind of camping facility um, and, and some other kind of uh, facilities available for Tanarong members to be able to take advantage of, of, uh, of that uh, beautiful property. Um, and, and I guess we'll be in more, in more contact with you about that potential uh, in the year to come. Other than that, we've had, uh, I guess, a, a few other significant things. We've had the hiring of a water policy officer, Alejandro, who's taken great strides in um, creating strong relationships with our water authorities within Tanarong region. And this has also enabled the uh, setup of the Tanarong Water Group. And, and uh, Alejandro has been consulting and liaising with them well, um, setting up some, I guess, some policy positions for, for Tanarong to advocate for when dealing with different water authorities and water groups. Um, so that's, that's uh, something that's been really exciting and we're looking forward to the work that they're going to do in the year to come. Furthermore, we've had the, uh, uh, the other positions of Sharon Briggs, who's, who's come across uh, to work for us in the project uh, officer space, and she's been fantastic for us, as well as the uh, appointment of uh, Troy Wilkinson as well, who uh, is working in natural resource management space uh, uh, under Shane, Shane Monk, and they're doing some fantastic work at the moment on Mount Buller. 
Other than that, um, I guess some of the other things that we've been doing is, uh, as indicated in, in previous newsletters, that we're really trying to work hard on our communication to you. And therefore, we've, we've really stepped up with our, with our newsletters, our social media, whether it be through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also, I guess, our, our website restructure as well to try to make it a little bit more user-friendly for you to gain information about Tanarong, what we do, and uh, keep you abreast of all the different opportunities to be a part um, of the Tanarong community moving forward. Uh, I guess uh, for, for, for that, the, the, the only other thing I'll mention is the, the recognition and settlement agreement that we've signed with the state um, is, is an ongoing process. It's something that will um, flow uh, mid next year. Um, we, we don't actually receive any funding or anything prior to that point. So at the moment, what we're doing is working really hard with the state agencies and also with our board to, to, to put together, um, I guess, an implementation or a strategic plan for Tunnerong. Um, and, and this will inform our next three to five years with some of the work um, that will flow out of our recognition and settlement agreement. So um, other than that, I've tried to keep it short and sweet. Um, it's been a really good year. Um, it's been exciting for me to be a part of this. Um, it's been a pleasure uh, working for Tanarong and also working uh, with the board. Um, I think we've got a, a really exciting board that are, are really looking forward to progressing Tanarong's interests. And um, yeah, look, as I said, it's a, it's a really exciting time and I'm, I'm really looking forward and excited to uh, the next few years uh, for, for Tanarong. So um, I guess uh, before I go, I just wanted to wish you all uh, a Merry Christmas and uh, Happy New Year and hope to see you all again uh, at some event uh, next year. Thank you and bye.